a failure and because failure means trying so if you guys feel like you've got a motivating story a story that can change someone's life be it a relationship be it a career be it a business feel free to contact me on the numbers that are on your screen right now so that you come and join me and i interview you and we motivate others as well please remember to like this video share and subscribe today i'm joined by this young man in the studio please introduce yourself to the viewers uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. My name is Leslie Fish and basically I got invited by her to come and be the guest on the show. Yeah, I'm quite excited. Yeah. I'm quite excited. Then, yeah. Yeah. So Leslie, how old are you and uh, what do you do? Okay, so being a very creative person, considering that my birthday is next month, I can Ooh. safely say Ooh. I am 22 years old now. Oh. Because okay. I rounded up, you know what I'm saying? He's older than me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm 22 years old. Okay. Yeah. What do you do? I am currently, I am a student at the National University of Science and Technology. So that's what I'm formally doing. But I'm also, you know, dabbling in the arts industry too. That's basically what I'm doing. And I'm into... I'm into entertainment basically. So you talk about music, I make music, I promote music, I also do a podcast, I have a podcast show that I'm hosting, I also do stand-up comedy once in a while, I, um, I, there's quite a number of things I do, but generally those are the most uh, prominent things I do in my life. Wow, amazing guys, I yeah. feel like it's just going to take over my show. So, what do you mean yeah, by it? Coming for this show. <laughs> what do you mean by it? Nice setup, by the way. Thank you this very much. Nice setup. I thank like you. it a lot. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. What do you mean by podcast show? So, there's the podcast show that I that I host. The name is Interviews with Leslie. I just, I just, it was, um, when I thought about the name, it was an impromptu thing. And I just, you know what, let me just go with Interviews with Leslie. And the show is basically an entertainment show, but I normally have guests, just like you have guests here, mm -hmm. and we just talk about things they do, and it's not just informative, but it's more entertaining, because okay. the entertainment is around the information that they're giving us and giving to the people. So that's basically what I do, what I try and do. Yeah. I haven't in, been invited as of yet, guys. Well, I'm only two episodes in, so okay, for the okay. first for the first uh, season, so definitely she will she'll probably be my closer for the entire season. So yeah, <laughs> awesome. <forward> <laughs> so yeah. what made you decide to go into the arts industry? You say you're an arts student. Too. Yeah. What are you studying? I'm studying finance, so I'm in the commercial world. Wow. Yeah. So why in, why going into the arts industry? Well, as a little child, ever since I was little, ever since I can remember actually, I've always had this imaginative mind and I've always been, when it comes to music, fascinated by the various songs that I used to listen to as a kid because I, I remember I used to, you remember the cassettes yes. and the radios and you put the cassette there? Uh -huh. I remember I used to steal my mother's and my brother's cassettes okay. and because then things recorded on them and then I just overdub them and record my own songs, <laughs> like my versions. And I record myself talking, I record myself singing. But then I was really bad. I record myself rapping. Yeah. So it's just been a thing that I was always been fascinated by. And I, I still did. The fire is still there in my heart. Now. But you decided to start at 22. Yeah, so Why is 22? At 22, because I will say this because this is a motivational talk. I had always been fearful, partly. I'd always been fearful. You know, there's things that people tell you, there's things that you know people think in their minds, mm -hmm. and so all of that has always been messing with my head and my, my confidence. But for the past year, I've, I've, on, I've been on a journey of like just doing whatever I want to do and not reminding when people say, um, be it negative or positive, honestly. I mean, you may say something positive to me. I'll probably, you know, appreciate it, but I, I normally tend to just not let it get into my head. So, but yeah. whatever you want to do, what do you mean? Because, you know, the youth out there, they'll start doing whatever. 
yeah. the land. Yeah. What, what, what do you mean, whatever? Yeah. They can start to invade things and say, you know, uh, I do yes, 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 yes. Say, so in that, in, that, in that context I was speaking of, when I said whatever I want to do, I meant the, like basically building a career in the arts industry. Okay. And so starting a podcast, making music, okay. you know, just it, all these things that I've been wanting to do, I am doing them. So I, I, I was speaking with regards to that. So, if you were not living under your father's roof, would you have done it differently? I do not know. I cannot say I know. All I know is that there's a thing I want to do, and the, like the, the dream that's there, and there's reality. Mm -hmm. So, I honestly do not know by then. I, I'm not sure where my mindset would be, mm -hmm. so I, I really cannot con uh, confirm that. All I know is that the drive is there in me and probably I would have done what I'm doing right now. You know, that is going to school and doing the, the, the arts things that I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so far it's been working for you. What challenges have you faced and how have you been able the to challenge, The challenges I face are, number one, there's a lot of things I'm doing, a lot of things I'm doing. As you can see, I'm not speaking of music only, I'm not speaking of the podcast only. I'm speaking of a lot of things and when I say music, I don't mean just making a song and putting it out there Like I do remixes, I try, the little things come for me So I do remixes, I do my own songs, I try and do covers I uh, react to songs on, on video And when it comes to the other things, I do a lot of things as well So generally, I, I it depends on the thing yeah. You know, we have put some famous people in the world we discovered that they were actually good or they were actually passionate about something else which was not education and they dropped out of school and right now it, it was a success but it's not always the case so what's your advice to someone who's discovering that uh, they are talented in another field or they're passionate about something else which is not uh, what they are studying right now or which is not uh, the degree they are, that they are doing um, it's funny you ask me that because it's like you just described my situation right now. I won't comment more on that because my family is watching hashtag. <laughs> but all I'll say, all I'll say about that is somebody, I, 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 a lot, a lot of people believe that things have to happen now, 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 and <clears throat> the reason why people drop out of school is because they feel like they'll be wasting time doing school instead of doing what they love. But people don't realize that they still have a long life to live. So the approach that I was speaking about the thing I'm living, the approach that I took was slash is that um, the school it is what I want to do. So I'll do school first since there's the opportunity for me to do school. Um, and I'll do whatever I'm doing there at school and just get it over and done with. Um, and then I can then focus fully and wholly, wholly on the thing I'm doing, that is the arts industry thing, is, right? Without the pressure of school, or without the pressure of other people saying, yo, go to school first and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I feel like for me, that was the best strategy I took. And uh, me making that decision actually relieved a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, doubts in my head. Because now I know what I want to do, you know, school, then arts, on the holidays I do arts and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So if, if if you're one of those people, you need to decide based on your on your on your situation, basically. But that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much for that. Sure. So where do you see yourself in ten years time? I have no idea. Okay. I, I don't have I don't have the the like the long term plan. Of course, I do have an image of what I want to achieve, mm -hmm. and but uh, I can. And I don't, want, I don't want to come across as a person that is not ambitious mm -hmm. But the reason why I'm saying this is because In 10 years, all I know is that I won't be at the place where I started mm -hmm. I'll be at a place that is way different from the place I'm at right now And the place is a better place And I'm working towards that every single day Hard work, persistence, perseverance, blah blah blah, faith in God all those things I believe will add up to like, you know, um, a happy ending. Okay. Yeah. So if someone wants to see your shows, uh, where do they get them? So my shows are everywhere basically. Facebook, 
Um, on my Facebook page, Leslie Fish Entertainment, um, or on my personal profile, Leslie Nkwasana Fish, and on Instagram too, Leslie Fish. You can just uh, check that out and check them on IGTV. And if you if you can just hit me up and I'll send you the link if you can get my number. Obviously, there's no, the number is there. She's got my number. Yeah, I got it. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah. What do you want to say to your fans? I I want to say my friends. Fans. Fans. Yeah. Okay. That's if I do have fans. Um. <laughs> I'm here. So yes. Yeah, so <laughs> let me so let me speak to you right now. <laughs> so basically, I just want to thank you. There's nothing but appreciation that I would like to show them, and and be quite optimistic of the future and say great things are coming, guys. Great things are coming. Yeah. Like the the. the the plans I have in my mind are just epic, and I'm sure from the things I've been posting and from the things you've been checking out that are done by me, I'm sure you know that great things are on the way. So thank you very much, and um, please keep tuned in. Thank you, Leslie, for coming to the show. And, and uh, I have one more thing uh-huh. that I need to say to you, actually. Okay. I brought I brought a gift actually Ooh. to you. Oh, is that cool? Wow. Do, do you want it? Yes. Or maybe people don't want gifts sometimes. No. Um, want do you, you want it, no. right? Um, it's not a physical gift, yes, okay. but um, it's an offer. Okay. So you've got your show, uh-huh. failing means trying, uh-huh. new motivational talk, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I feel like this could be a great show, uh-huh. you know? You're a great, a great host yourself, and I feel like um, I need to be a part of the legacy that she's living here. Ooh. So, I have no idea what she's doing, this, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. But I feel like um, for me to be a part of the show, the great show and that is this show i uh, i figured since i'm a producer too which i didn't mention but now you know i produce songs right um so i was offering to do the theme song of this show okay. if if okay. you don't have the theme song okay. yet mm-hmm. or if you hadn't found a person to do that for you wow. i was offering to do the theme song for you just an like, offer. I yeah, pay nothing. Definitely. You Ooh. pay nothing. Wow. I'm in. I mean, we'll talk after the show. Right? <laughs> but you pay nothing. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. So oh, it's just an offer. That's my gift to you. Wow. And a wonderful show. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to thank the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And thanks for motivating me yeah. and the other guys. Guys, I hope you feel motivated. And remember, guys, on this show, I'm trying to create a platform where people can try things without being afraid of labeled as failures. Remember to share and subscribe to my channel and do take care of yourself and others. Remember to be happy always. I love you guys. By the way, guys, uh, the song that we are going to dance to today, the song that we are going to use to celebrate failure is his song. It's actually well, my favorite. Actually, let me let me explain the song, right? <laughs> it's not your normal song. Uh-huh. So what happened was yesterday I was in church, right? And this other female group sang. And so I just my spontaneous mind was like, hey, grab your phone and just record these people singing. And so I recorded them. When I got home, I turned it into a song, like a a, a, a house-ish, EDM-ish song. It's just a 30-second song and it's just fun. But so, it's my favorite, guys. Until next time, guys. Bye.